Matthew Holt, you've been sheltered in place for a whole week. All right, what's your best coping mechanism? Uh, first off, don't have children, but if you do, get no pair girl. All right, all that hard-hitting news on surviving COVID-19 here on Health in 2.00. So Jessica, you're surviving alone, but I see that you brought your friends behind you, including yourself. Yeah, that's so there's two of yourself. Me, myself, you, and I here. <laughs> three of you, me, Literally, myself, and I. I have a whole shelf full of 3D printed bobbleheads of myself to keep me company. <laughs> and um, can I see the one on the, can I see the Jessica uh, standing against the post? And is she wearing, uh, is she wearing stretchy leggings with like holes yeah, in the side? Yeah, I have these Whoa, like. Whoa, <laughs> she is a glamorous child. Right, sure, yeah. <laughs> well, um, so we'll have yeah, glamorous Jessica. The Jessicas are over here, just sheltered in place. <laughs> That's good. At least you have somebody to talk to when you're all alone. <laughs> I'm making cruise ship announcements. That's my um, new coping mechanism. So I, I make announcements like I'm on a cruise ship. Like I announce what the morning activities are going to be, what we're having for lunch, and then I also announce dinner and cocktails. <laughs> oh, my word. So where does announcing health to in this come Oh, well, we should do that. We actually have funding deals. Oh, well, we better do it. No, I know. We have them. For, they were like holdovers because God knows what's going to happen now. All right, get your timer. Ready? Go. Mm -hmm. Go. Yeah. All right, we're starting with some COVID-19 news, though. So AHA, the American Hospital Association, American Medical Association, and the American Nursing Association are asking for $100 billion from Congress. Do you think they're going to get it? Well, everyone's putting their hand in the trough, right? And they're supposed to be the Bush that didn't get passed Last night, I had like 500 billion that could be allocated by the, the secretary at his whim. Here's the point, right? Aren't hospitals already going to get money? I mean, they're losing, losing some money in elective surgery, but they're going to get paid for the stuff they are going to do. And they already, hospitals and doctors to combine for America about 1.5 trillion. So wanting for 100 billion for the next month, it suggests they're getting no other revenue. They're not sports shows or bars or, you know, events that got canceled. So I think that's super greedy, but the hospitals that probably will get it. We'll see. Um, Aura Health, back to fundraising news, raises $28 million in a Series B. This is the ring, the one that Prince Harry has. Ooh, the and all ring, yes. yes. This is the Finnish ring, uh, like a bunch of sports stars put in for the early round. There is like $20 million. It takes your heart rate, your temperature, and a bunch of other stuff. It, maybe it'll work. And some of the money came from Gradient Ventures, right, which is part oh. of Google. Uh, it's their AI. But they also, um, they also, Google is still buying Fitbit. hasn't closed yet, but Maybe they're going to wrap it all into that somehow. Maybe they just forget Fitbit and go with it's the ring. A lot of money right, for about, a ring. Um, how about Heartbeat Health? This is a telehealth for it's a cardiology. 8.2 Series A Optum Ventures is in on yeah, it. Yeah, there was one called uh, Hello Heart, right? The other day, which did, which which was more like a Livonga. They 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 support the, the they support cardiology. I think it's a cardiology replacement with a bunch of stuff. Um, maybe uh, there's a bunch of GI. I see a bunch of, like further in diabetes. There may be these virtual clinics. Maybe it'll work. All right, what about Vault? This is like a Hymns, a Roman. They've got thirty million in a Series A. Do we need another one of these? No, but, okay. we're, but these ones are like they're bringing stuff to the house and doing something around. That market's super crowded. All right, what about Bloomer Tech? Three million for their smart bra. Woo! Uh, I think you're going to have to comment on that because I feel that now we're two minutes are up. We don't. I dare not say. Why do I have to comment on it? You don't feel qualified to comment on women's lingerie that takes like. Um, well, well, the one point I would have is that it's a smart bra, like kind of like one of the. There was a smart shirt which uh, we had to have to put on. It's now I've forgotten now. Uh, well, I've forgotten which we'd like do. Like your, do CV, do your cardiology stuff, and there's a smart sock on stuff. But if it's a smart bra, why is it called bloomer? Shouldn't that be smart baggy underwear? Well, maybe now that they have their three million, they can do the panties and make it a matching set. Hey! Um, <laughs> All me for how to spend your money. <laughs> <laughs> sure they can take you on as a consultant. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right. All right, All right. So, uh, Jessica, what have you been doing uh, while you've been not doing the cruise ship part? Oh, well, beyond that, um, I've been doing a lot of virtual happy hours with our friends from around the world, which has been fun. And beyond that, I've actually been doing a WTF Health uh, special series talking to different health tech companies and how they have been responding to COVID-19. So what they've been doing to like quickly pivot 
in a lot of cases or shore up what they've got in order to help deliver care and offload the burden on the health system. So interesting right. stuff there. Cool. Okay, a lot of that's been recorded in uh, COVID. It's up on THCB. It's up on the healthcare. Yeah, it's on THCB. Hey, hey, speaking of, you talked to Julia Cheek from Everlywell. They just oh. launched their at-home testing today. Do you uh, yeah, they did, although I saw somewhere that the FDA had banned it and they had to give it away. We'll give it to hospitals instead. So uh, oh. we need to look into that. Uh, we should grab her for another. You should grab her for another interview. We'll put it up. And a lot of this stuff is being uh, is on the COVID nineteen health tech site, healthtech.com site that uh, Catalyst has put up um, that I've been involved with. And the other thing that's going on is there's a thing called COVID Vent, which I don't think is out with any big announcements yet, but it's going to have an, an op ed soon. That's about uh, that's Adam Schrefki and uh, some other anesthesiologists who are working on turning ambulatory surgery centers into operating rooms. Uh, sorry, into. Cool away from being operating rooms into being ICUs because they have ventilators there and that will have a decent chunk to the ventilator supply. But there's a ton going on. You can get on any number of calls about things that we could do about COVID-19, but we don't have a lot of federal leadership yet. I wonder, I wonder what happened. <laughs> I don't know, <laughs> but it's a good time to demand a hundred billion dollars, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, now be... while there's no leadership, ask for your money now. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think uh, it's time for the THCB, you know, uh, surplus bailout package to, to get into effect. There you go. We need that too. Yeah, All right, guys. Our health, well, health into one hour division is bleeding cash. Oh my God. Well, we always were. <laughs> <laughs> the ten dollars that we invested in this was just you know, a loss. And we're at, yeah, still. Um, so, but still, <laughs> you can follow along with these cute little health and two point oh because they still come in, um, despite the fact that we have not so many deals to discuss. So we're still talking about the COVID nineteen news and all the other good things happening in health tech. So send us your stories, um, and you can follow along, of course, on Twitter with him. He's at Bolty Boy, and I am at Jess Damasa. And we'll see you on the healthcare blog, thehealthcareblog.com. Mr. Holtz, enjoy the rest of your self-quarantine. I will see you unquarantining some happy hour very soon. Absolutely. Thanks. Take care, guys.